today I'm going to show you how you can have the best looking and most efficient virtual Wii forwarder channels on your Wii U menu. Now there are a couple steps you need to follow in order to get these to work and I'll be showing you that right after I preview how they look. So these channels will lead to your homebrew software on your virtual Wii which can save you a little time and make your Wii U look really cool. But here are the screens that you'll see when you load each channel. Here's the first one, CTGP Revolution. We have Wii Flow, Wii Station, Nintendo, Wii 7800, and probably my favorite, USB Loader GX. Now, all of these I created myself, and the next five were created by a subscriber named Sammy Goes Howdy, who I've mentioned in a previous video. So we have the Homebrew Channel, which is really cool to have. Revolution, which makes it much quicker to load your favorite mods on Virtual Wii. Wii Shop Channel, along with the Photo Channel. Does anyone use this still? And lastly, the Me Channel. So now that you've seen them all, let's set them up. So there is a prerequisite for these to work. You do need the Aroma environment for your Wii U. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click the video in the top right and that will get you set up. But it is a separate environment, similar to Tiramisu, but it is separate and these channels only work on there. So these channels are basically a two-step setup. The first thing that you need to have, we'll use USB Loader GX as an example. You need to have the actual USB Loader GX app set up. And step two is to have the virtual Wii WAD for that app. So the way these work, when you click on the Wii U forwarder, it will lead directly to the virtual Wii WAD and then into the app. So that's why you need both of those for this to work. So let's download them. Linked below, I have my channel pack with this Google Drive and Sammy's junk for his Wii U forwarders. So with mine, if you wanna download a specific one, just click it and download it, but I'm gonna download all of them. So I'm gonna click on CTGP Revolution, hold shift and click on the last one and let's download it. Now I'm gonna open up my SD card that I used to mod my Wii U open up my downloads here is the pack so we'll open up this and we have each channel as a zip file so let's start off with nintendo because ctgp revolution is a little bit different but nintendo there will be a main folder go inside of here and you'll see wad and wii u the wad is containing the virtual wii wad that you need to have installed on your virtual wii in order for this to work now these go to a specific title id that's how they were programmed so if you have a different one installed or if you don't know the title id you can uninstall that and install this one instead to make sure it works back to the main here the wii u folder contains the wub file which is in wii u apps so that is the actual wii U channel that we're gonna see on our Wii U menu so we're gonna go back we're gonna highlight both of these and drag them onto the root of your SD card I already have them so I'm just gonna replace them we can close the zip file and that is basically how you set these up but CTGP revolution is a little bit different so if we open that zip file we have the main folder go inside and we have the readme text I just explained that you need the actual CTGP revolution channel on your VW menu and you get that through the installer when you set it up so you can add all the channels you want from here and we can exit and I'll show you how to set up Sammy's similar setup but a little bit different so we'll close that and we'll go to Sammy's junk he has a whole list of his Wii U forwarders and in order to download them just click on the one you want so let's do the homebrew channel click on it it'll take you here in the right side just click download and you'll download the .wub file if you go back to the main pack scroll down you can see the important note these forwarders are powered by boot to VWE. if you want to see how that works or read up on it you can click his link right here but it basically boots a VWE software from the Wii U menu and below that he has a list of the specific VWE wads that you need to have so if you click the here it'll download the wad just for that specific app so let's set his up open up my downloads again and it is a little bit different so on your SD card go inside Wii U apps and then you're just going to drag the .wub file that you downloaded from Sammy's pack inside replace because I already had it but that is how you set it up so it's pretty easy but you do need to make sure you have the proper VWE wad installed on your virtual Wii and I'm not going to show you how to install the wads because I've shown you that on previous videos 
and honestly most of you probably already know that anyway but if you don't you do need a wad manager like Wii Mod Lite or some Yam. so let's unplug our SD card and head back to the Wii U and because you're on the enrollment environment, they should automatically appear when you boot into your homebrew software on your Wii U. So there you have it. That is how you get some of the best Wii U channels on your Wii U menu. If you're wondering about the Funky Scott 47 channel, I actually created that a different way and it doesn't lead it actually leads to CTGP Revolution, but it doesn't work. But it looks really cool and if we load it up. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love it. So it actually leads to CTGP, but if we click launch game, it says Mario Kart Wii is not in your disk drive. That's because I made this a previous method, not boot to VWii, and it cannot read disks from your virtual Wii. But that's basically it. I hope you're able to set those channels up. And if you ran into any issues, just comment down below or join the Discord server linked below as well. If you're interested in joining online Mario Kart Wii on the weekends no, to play it. custom knockout tournaments, make sure you hit subscribe and keep an eye out for my live streams. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and thank you to Sammy for allowing me to share his forwarders with you guys. Make sure to let him know what you think down below as well. Thanks for watching, stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>